youths are no longer happy. Emo youths are frustrated. Emo youths are angered that the police has continued to vehemently and recklessly extort. With present impunity and the height of rascality, the police force has renewed hostility, brutality, and on present extortions against the citizens, most especially in the eastern region, Imo State precisely, there have been several complaints, dissatisfaction over the continual adoption, continual forceful disappearances by the security authorities. People have been extorted, exploited, I mean, arbitrarily begin to ask, the search, stop and search, is it intended to extort the people, to harass and embarrass, subjugate them? It's quite unfortunate. This has raised concerns, and the evil youths are saying, enough is enough, we are going to protest. Three days against police extortions, including the Joint Task Force. What exactly is the primary essence of governance? What is exactly is the primary essence of instituting or it? establishing the police force or the police commission is it not to ensure a peaceful society conducts themselves within the defined code of conduct in the delivery of service to the society and the citizenry is extortion, humiliation, and oppression of the masses part of their defined mode of oppression? To the extent that people could no longer move freely. If you are on your car, you are on a, a journey, you will be scared of the police extortion. And if you eventually fail to give them based on the bidding, they will frustrate you. Just as people are complaining in what is happening in Air Force, in airports, Nigerian airport, not just the airports. This is happening on the roads, major roads. You begin to ask, what is the government doing? Are the masses responsible for whatever uh, frustration they think they may have, of course, uh, been enveloped in? The masses are still suffering the same way everybody is suffering. So why should you use the instrumentality of of this of the state against them. You use force, you use gun, you point gun at them. If they fail to do, you can accuse them of anything and uh, change the whole narrative. This have informed the reason why the youths are saying we are going to protest against this renewed hostility, brutality, extortions. It's becoming excess, in excess, that people could no longer have their freedom or express themselves, or move around. It's quite unfortunate. Is it part of the, of, uh, of course, uh, rule of engagement of the police? Rather than being civil, friendly to the society where they found themselves, they have turned to be against the society, exploiting the masses. And unfortunately, it appears the Imo state government is not paying attention to this. People are complaining, and when the people troop to the street, as they have, of course, uh, scheduled to just protest, you might now mobilize the same police to come and fight them, to silence them. Just watch this video, of course, that will shock you. When it comes to election, with my, my practices begin, police will also be pointed. A choosing figure will be pointed at them. Just like uh, the Edo police, Edo election, Gubapun, you saw what happened there? where police, some men in police uniform and military security uniforms adding bullets, snatching and rigging. But the reverse was the case when they said threaten to withdraw from the river state uh, pools. You know what happens there? There was peaceful conduct. There was no issue of uh, killing, hijacking and killing, robbing, extorting and all that. Why should police become the enemy of the people they are meant to protect? Watch this video, it will shock you. And any society that its police force 
is corrupt or has corrupt tendency unchecked, such society is gone. It's gone. Watch this video. The press release from the National Youth Alliance, Simo State uh, uh, chapter. Um, the summary of that press release is we are going to protest, a three day protest against police extortion in Imo. And uh, it is the National Youth Alliance, as headed by Comrade Chinonso Banonsongpa, that will spearhead the protest in Imo State. Throughout Imo State, we are going to protest and we are going to tell the police. And of course, the Joint Task Force, made up of Funda, Minde, Civil Defense, and uh, the police, that enough is enough. Emo youths are no longer happy. Emo youths are frustrated. Emo youths are angered that the police has continued to vehemently and recklessly extort. It is quite pathetic. See how uh, the citizens have been malhandled, intruded by the supposed police that should uh, protect them and ensure. Uh, there is justice and fairness in this society. See how police has become more or less uh, less than a talk. It's quite unfortunate. Brutality about police interference in election, etc. It's not about the citizen. It's about the police conniving with certain politicians to undermine the system. Like you see in Edo State. Police aided and abated the rigging of election against the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. But in River State here, because the police did not participate, the police were not part of the process. The process was seamless. The process was in order.